while the future of Guinea's mining industry is also a major concern. The industry accounts for 26% rather of the country's GDP. That's according to the World Trade Organization. Lieutenant Colonel Mamadi Dumbuya with several representatives of the mining industry. Dumbuya reassured investors of their safety as well as the safety of mining sites. Guinea is the world's second largest exporter of bauxite. Bauxite is a key material used in the production of aluminum. As a Guinean businessman, I can only protect investors whether they come from China, Turkey, the United States or France. All the economic operators who have invested legally in the country, our role and duty is to encourage them, to protect them, to work with them and to create a good business environment. I promise to be the mediator between these businessmen and the Guinean state. We're now joined by Michael Conte, West and Southern Africa Security Specialist based in Fort Lee, New Jersey. Michael, thank you so much for joining us on Africa Live. What changes are we likely to see in the country's mining policy? Well, thank you for having me. Um, you see, when it comes to Guinea and uh, West Africa in general, especially where military coup is concerned, we have to really adopt a wait and see policy. We, we can be very, we, we shouldn't be carried away by some of the, the earlier um, gestures by um, um, Commander Mamadi Dumboya. And, but uh, I think we would expect to see some change in terms of policy shift. We know that um, before um, Colonel Mam uh, Mamadi Dumboya took over, um, President Conde had had a shift he was moving towards Russia and China and Turkey. And I think that that was not um, very welcome by the French, which, um, you know, Guinea is a former French colony. And so I can suspect that um, the likes of Russia and China and Turkey would want to have a, a bigger stake and uh, play in the mining sector. So it's yet to be seen what would happen. That's why I'm saying let's wait and see. Michael, what do you foresee? It's really difficult to say because as you say right now, we don't know what's going to happen. We're going to have to wait and see. But what, in your opinion, would the economic and political implications of policy changes be? Well, it is, um, it is a very complex situation. Um, we know, as you rightly pointed out, the mining sector contributes over 26% to the GDP. And, um, and, and then you have this mine, the Simadu mine, which is one of the purest form of iron ore. And there are talks of a lot of potential um, within this mine. But, but uh, I, I would think that the global financial capital would have a lot um, in terms of driving the, the, the policy issues. Uh, it, it, unfortunately, we know that um, um, African countries do not have much say in terms of the, the the resources in terms of the pricing of the resources this is sometimes decided in the west and so the implication of who takes the lead within the political aim in guinea and um, how are they positioned internationally to the powers that be might have a, a very impactful situation in terms of political and economic um, um, an impact within the country. Michael, speak to us about the role of the mining sector in Guinea's economy and how significant it is in the country moving forward. It is, it is huge. And I think it started, just to give it a context, since the time of President Sheku Toure, he actually instilled this whole issue around factories in terms of mining and, and a work ethics in Guinea. And, and the mining sector has played a very pivotal role in the economy in, in, in Guinea. And, and it will, it seems like to me, um, that is something that um, um, Commander Mamadi Dumbuya understands and uh, the leaders of the opposition, the civil society, and the entire Guinea population understands the importance of mining sector. And I think they will do all in their power to protect it because um, that, that is, I would say, that's the breadbasket of Guinea. And um, what, what they do within that sector 
will go a long way in terms of uh, development and the prosperity for Guinea and our people. Michael, thank you so much for all that. Michael Conte, West and Southern Africa Security Specialist, is based in Fort Lee, New Jersey.